we're gonna see two examples of Austin Gomez using lower body attacks to transition to his upper body attacks. So if you guys follow me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, you'll know that Gomez is one of my one of my favorite college guys to watch. And the reason being is he is he's absolutely ferocious with his upper body attacks. And one of his ways of getting there is using the lower body. So let's see let's see these examples and let's dive into this first one here. And so it's going to start off the left side underhook. You can see Gomez has, and he's going to throw it by. So he's going to elevate that left underhook, and he's going to attack the far leg. So we can see that here. So he's getting it a little bit above the ankle, relatively low attack. And he starts getting an angle due to how the opponent defends, tries to sprawl that left leg back. Um, and Gomez is going to be able to start getting an angle towards the back. And so what he has is a great opportunity to attack the near leg in this case, get on the single leg and you can see his hands. So he's going to control here and then he gets the heel as well. And the heel is a really valuable leverage point because it allows you to elevate the leg um, relatively easily. So he's going to get to his feet right away. He's hiking that foot up close to his armpit. And now he's trying to sweep out the post leg. And you can see he gets a hold of it here, but the opponent manages to sprawl it away. And, and I, one thing important to point out here, we've got 30 seconds left in the match. Gomez is down three. So he's gonna make something happen here. He's not gonna have time to, to scramble in this position. And so he's gonna use this to go upper body. So you can see his right hand we can see the fingers wrap around at the far hip. He's gonna leave the heel with his left and he's locking. And so he cinches the lock and runs to his right. And for this particular finish, he's gonna, he's gonna go back side. So his right leg is gonna split the opponent's legs. And what I like about the split, the split method here, where you go back side, is you can often get a nice shelf on the opponent's inside leg. And that's gonna make it easier to lift them. So you can see the opponent's left leg is shelved on Gomez's right thigh. And you can also see where his lock is. So this is a side body lock, um, and it's gonna be close to the opponent's hip. So we wanna, we wanna usually be fairly low by the hip if possible, uh, and make it better control and also easier to lift the opponent. So he's gonna pop his hips, lifts up, and then really important, he's very good at rotating opponents to get them in this horizontal position. This is what we want. If you just lift them straight up, they can land back on their feet. But when you lift up here and then you twist, now you get this horizontal position much easier to get a finish. You can see the opponent Andonian here, he's a tall guy. So he's able to get the toes of one of his feet to the ground as well as his hand that's gonna lessen the impact, but he's still gonna get the finish because look how off balance he still is. And he's gonna drive him forward here. On this one, we're gonna have a left side single. So Gomez shoots in. You can see he's gonna bring his left hand across, pop the elbow, and he's gonna go underneath here. So you can see his head position when he initially gets in, his head's inside, and he's gonna bring it outside. And by bringing it outside, it, it allows him to, to keep this vertical spine position stay in a really strong position and build up to his feet, which he's gonna do. So left foot, right foot. When the head's inside, it can get buried and that can mess with your alignment and make it more difficult to build up to the feet. So head outside, gets to both feet. Now it looks like he's initially going for a double here. So he's still controlling the legs. The opponent's gonna lengthen out and, and try to defend. Um, and you can see here, I think, I don't even think the opponent really pulls the grip up. 
and so much as Gomez decides to go up. So you can see the opponent starting to get an overhook, but Gomez is going up anyways, because this is where he wants to be. So he's got this hand to wrist body lock. So this is really tight. Um, depending on your arm length and your opponent's waist length, uh, what, what's gonna make it tight can, can vary, but if you can get hand to wrist, it's generally gonna be very tight and you're gonna be able to pull the opponent's hips in and control them and lift them. And so Gomez is going to pop his hips in. And then like we saw last time, there's a twist as well. So unlike the last time, this one's gonna be head on. He's not gonna be circling behind and splitting the legs. He's gonna be directly in front. He's gonna pop his hips, twists. We still get that same horizontal angle of the opponent. And then you bring, you force both their hands to the mat and you get on top. So a couple details here. What you wanna think about for these types of throws is to move your opponent, you need to move yourself. So you, your upper body grips are your connection. Those are your hooks. And then you can see how Gomez is gonna move his hips out a little bit. So hips are in to control. When he wants to go for the throw, his hips are gonna come out slightly. So that way he can bring them back in and pop them in for the lift. So they pop in. And first he's just gonna focus on lifting here. And then to twist the opponent, he needs to twist himself. So he's gonna twist to his right here. So you can see how he twists to his right, that causes the opponent to twist as well. You can see Gomez is also getting to his toes. So big hip extension. When the hips come back, now they're coming in, he gets to his toes, he's twisting, pulls the opponent. You can see how his, the opponent's, I think that's his right leg, how that gets totally opened up here due to the twist. 